And I'm Kathy. Join us as we follow the moon. Today, we want to take you on a little road trip through the life of Elvis Presley. Now, Elvis Presley was born in Tupelo, Mississippi, and he built his career and unfortunately passed in Memphis, Tennessee. An amazing talent that uh, influenced the world, influenced uh, music itself, and uh, to this day is loved dearly. So come along with us as we explore where he uh, began his life, where he began his career, and where it all came to an end. Well, our journey starts off at Elvis's birthplace in Tupelo, Mississippi. Now this is the actual house where Elvis was born and it's only been moved about two blocks from the original location. The birthplace museum though is amazing. The camera actually makes this place look big. Yeah, it was very, very small. And that birthplace is surrounded by an area called the Walk of Life. And the Walk of Life is set up to honor all 13 years from when Elvis was born through when Elvis left Tupelo. And the markers will give you uh, things in, in how his life was forming, when they lost their home, when his father came out of prison, when they lost their car. It was not a he didn't lead a very uh, easy life. No, he in, didn't. In the beginning. It proves that some great things can come out of tragedy. In 1948, they decided to leave Tupelo for a better living. This was the actual outhouse that was uh, there at the Presley home. And this is their childhood church. Elvis grew up in an Assembly of God church, and they've moved the church here onto the grounds. Now, this statue was put in place to honor young Elvis Presley. It stands right in the middle of the grounds and shows Elvis with his guitar at the age of 13. Now Elvis always had a tie in to the blues and that was kind of foretelling as to where Elvis was headed in the future. This is a fountain that was placed there on the grounds and there is a, a fountain coming out for each year that he was there in Tupelo and it also commemorates 1977, the year that Elvis passed. Now this is a memorial chapel that was built here on the grounds in memory of Elvis after his passing. But at the age of 13, Elvis was Memphis bound. And he and his family loaded into a 1935 Plymouth and they were off to Memphis. Now we fast forward in 1954 at Sun Records in Memphis. And this was when Elvis got his recording start. Sun Studio is still there today, and they've got a great tour. The front part of the building, you can do a, a video 
but most of the, the upstairs of the tour and part of the downstairs of the tour, there's no video allowed. We did, however, get just a small clip here in the lower level going into the actual recording studio where Elvis would have recorded. There's guitars, there's the piano. The mic. The mic that he used, yes. Mm -hmm. Hammond B3. Now on over on famous Beale Street in Memphis, there's the Brass Notes Walk of Fame and Elvis has his note there. That's where he and B.B. King became friends. Now Graceland Mansion has a wall all the way along the front of it and everybody has left their name there. The mansion sits way back off the road and they have a great tour. It is very, in my opinion, very pricey, but there's a little known uh, fact that between 7 and 8 a.m. every morning the grounds are open to the public free of charge and you can go on the grounds and see the mansion see the uh, memorial garden uh, it, it's all open to the public and it's all free if you cross the street from the mansion you'll see Elvis's personal jet. That's what he used when he was touring. Now directly behind Graceland, you'll find the Meditation Garden. The Meditation Garden was one of Elvis's favorite places. The swimming pool is there and a beautiful garden. And that Meditation Garden eventually became a final resting place for Elvis and his family. This is the original headstone that was on his mother's grave. She was later moved here to Graceland. That is Benjamin Presley Keough, which was Lisa Marie's son that passed. And then you'll also find uh, Minnie Mae Presley, which was his grandmother, Elvis Aaron Presley, which is Elvis, The next one is Vernon Elvis Presley, that's his father. The next one is Gladys Love Smith Presley, that's his mother. And then the small marker is Jesse Guerin Presley, that's Elvis's identical twin that was actually stillborn 35 minutes before Elvis came into the world. Well, no matter if you're a huge fan of Elvis or you're not really that familiar with him, either way, Elvis takes us on a tremendous journey through some of the greatest places in music history. Absolutely. Uh, so with that, we want to thank you for coming along with us. We had a ball exploring all of the areas. Yes, we did. And if you enjoyed our video today, please leave us a thumbs up. We do appreciate it. If you haven't yet subscribed, do that and ring the notification bell so you know when all of our videos come out in the future. And thank you for following us as we follow the moon. Thanks. Thanks for watching today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. And be sure to ring the notification bell so you'll know when new videos come out. Don't forget to follow us on social media too.